So what's up guys, today we have an um, iPad Pro 11, uh, third generation. Uh, it has a uh, no power issue. So let's plug in the uh, charging cable, see what we get. So when we plug in the charging cable, um, is taking um, 0.5 amp, uh, but it doesn't show any shining up, uh, booting it up or anything. So let's try to boot up. So 0.5 amp, uh, stuck at 0.5 amp, it doesn't boot up. So it's taking a uh, 0.5 amp. Is it charging or is, what would, you know, it doesn't do anything. Um, I'm not sure it's charging or not. If it's charging, then, you know, we just see a battery, battery logo here or something. But obviously it's taking in uh, 0.5 amp. So what we need to do is, uh, it could be short um, somewhere, but we don't know. So um, what we need to do is uh, remove the LCD screen from the housing and get access to the uh, logic board and the charging port and make some, take some measurements and run some tests to see what's going on. Otherwise, I can't really tell much uh, from just observing because uh, the iPad is pretty in good condition. There's no drop damage or sign of any water damage. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, take up the LCD screen and get access to the logic board. Okay, so we have taken the LCD screen off and also the, the cover for the logic board. This is the main power unit in here. And this is the charging IC. Uh, but let's try to see if um, uh, we can see if there's a short underneath the thermal cam. Okay, so this is our thermal cam. Let's plug in the uh, charging cable. There you go. Where is that at? Uh, why is that thing getting hot? So that is the charging IC. Is that charging IC? Not sure. Let's go look under the microscope. Yep, that's the charging IC. Let's plug it in. Okay, so we have a charging IC. Um, this is the. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see my uh, tweezer right here. This has the power management chip, and here's the uh, charging IC for the uh, iPad. So that's getting hot, so it's not charging, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, let's go to click electricity. There. So that's the hottest part. Disconnect again. Let's connect back. Oh, there you go. Try it one more time. There you go. So that's the charging IC is bad. So basically, we're going to replace that charging IC, and it should uh, resolve the uh, no power issue. OK. 
kid. So, so smart. That's where the dot is. It's good. So just mark where we know it is at before we move it. So we put a lot of captain tape around so just to protect the components and the board itself and the battery. Uh, let's just go ahead and remove it. There you go. Okay, so uh, let's put on a new chip. So the dot is going this corner. down the air a little bit.
There you go. down a little bit. Okay, um, let's test it out. Okay, let's plug in the charging cable. See we get a charge from here. All right, um, it's charging at 1.4 amp, which is pretty good. Uh, looks like it's charging normally. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, put it on the screen uh, and see if we can test it um, see, see, to see if it's uh, functioning properly. Okay, so let's put on the LCD screen. It's kind of weird this way. And test it out. That's charging, 0.4 amp. Good. Uh. Okay. Um. Seems like the uh, iPad is charging at 1.4 amp, and it's working fine now. That's it, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, so basically, this iPad had a uh, had a shorted um, charging IC, and it short out to the iPad. And, uh, and it was not able to power on. So we fixed the charging IC. Now it's charging fine and it's power on. Um, that's it. Uh, we're just going to put back the iPad together and, uh, and return to the customer. Well, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.